And uh, I think what uh, the minister, uh, the deputy high minister said about closure, I think he's being ill advised. Uh, uh, he doesn't have the evidence and the facts uh, correct with him, or maybe his advisor failed to do so. Uh, what we urge that uh, Sri Helmi should do now, since IWK actually came up with an idea and a proposal of uh, upgrading their system, and I think most of the reporters who were there, IWK specifically mentioned that uh, IWK will propose, but then the federal government will give the funding. So this is where, where Datuk Sri Helmi should help. Because Samo is a Penangai, he's from Malik Pulau, he's in his constituency, and you are talking about all the, the, the industry there, is actually benefiting the local people in Balik Pulau. If he has the heart for Balik Pulau, then he should fight for better Balik Pulau. Uh, I'd like to add that uh, Dr. Helmi, He's the elected representative in that area since October 1990, when he first entered into politics. This uh, IWK plan faces a lot of problems. It is only, the capacity is only 30,000 PE, and they have a process 35,000 PE. If you look historically, there have been a, a few incidences with, with, with this plan. And then in year 2007, after getting the allocation fund to do the design for a new plant, they have applied under RM9 for allocation fund to upgrade the facilities, and it was rejected, not given. RM10, it was applied, it was not given. At that material time, I'm very sure that Dr. Helmi is the, uh, is this, uh, <coughs> Uh, this uh, MP for that area, 2004 to 2008. And he was working as the parliamentary secretary to the finance department, or, or he was a deputy finance minister. And if he cannot get allocation fund to upgrade the plant, and it's in his own constancy, he has been very irresponsible or useless. Sini dia kawasan. Pada masa itu dia terlibat dengan kewangan, kemenjangan kewangan. Apabila mereka memohon protokol untuk upgrade fasiliti sekarang dia, he cannot do it. He should disqualify himself in making any statement regarding his plan in this particular year. Okay, masa tak ada izin, saya nak ucapkan terima kasih kepada semua. Reporters, did Dr. Hamid went down to the side? Not that we know. Not and that happens to be his constancy. His parliament constancy. That shows how irresponsible he is by just making statements uh, without referring to taken by JS for the fourth and for the fifth. For the fourth, it shows that uh, it was very high in terms of his above is the standard of the 100 CFU per 100 ml, the E-coli. Uh, I think each and every one of you have the detail down here. And on the fifth, on the fifth, we have also collected the second dash, and it shows that uh, it was now very much under control. It's only 20 CFU per 100 ml, which is, it is very much between the class two standard, which is not what class two standard. And uh, we also have a discussion yesterday whether to close the fish or not to close the fish. We have not received any advice to close the fish because it is already uh, started to rehabilitate. The JAS have already, uh, JPS have taken actions to do this uh, silting. And uh, the result shows that the petroleum level is now very, very low. It's only 20 CFU per 100 uh, ml. So to attach also we found these uh, so-called the reports, uh, the reports here called close the fish before it's too late. Uh, I think uh, this is very much political because we are talking about an environmental issue. Here we have got the, the voice of the valley, which valley? 
from Kuala Lumpur, who is not aware of what is going on, and have written so much negative as if that the whole the next state government is on holiday mode. I'm very sure each and every, all the reporters here have been in touch with me during the new year of how we stand by. Even before this, the, before the, the CN, uh, Chinese New Year celebration, we have advised you who are the people on standby about these things. So this is a very most unfair. And by putting up, by putting up and uh, reporting a sign here saying that here, it is misleading and it can cause very severe damage to the tourist industry. This is something which is very irresponsible. If you read, you find that all the statements here are not true and very irresponsible and it's a political. I don't have facts and figures. You can always, con you can always contact Jabatan Arms Eater or contact my office. We will provide you the detail. I want them to be fair. And hopefully that uh, the writer will realize that this is, to tell a lie is something very sinful, especially during Chinese New Year. That he will get the necessary funding to construct the, 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 the drainage system into the sea, which uh, when a child visited the, 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 the site, Charles was proposing 800 meter. Uh, uh, the minister says he wants two kilometers, and it's also reported in the press today. And uh, he assured me that uh, he will do whatever he can because he's also a playing man. We work very closely, and I really appreciate him. I even sent a text message to him that I appreciate for helping out. We are we are working very very closely together. Because he and I strongly believe that this is an environmental issue. Let us sort the environmental issue. And uh, in so far as the beach is concerned, the JPS have already begun the dislodging of it. Uh, the press who went down to the site yesterday have seen for themselves how we are doing the dislodging. So we wait uh, instructions from them of what to do next. Because there's, there should be only one commander in this field. And it happens to be from the federal government, and we read their instruction. <coughs> because if too many people giving too many instructions, then it is not synchronized. We want Chapatan Amsterdam to synchronize the whole thing. Even the JPS DG, when it comes down, also sit down together and allows the Department of Environment to take the Now, Malabi Paras was on the first time that they took the, this one that was on the fourth. So on the fourth, we took the report that is it is one. So we immediately says, okay, take further and further samples okay. to compare because immediately remediations can take us on the fourth. So on the fourth, we take one sample. On the fifth, we take one sample. The fourth shows very high concentration, but the fifth shows is already below. That means the actions which were taken by us, the reactions to control the environment disaster, is very effective. So that's why it only drops to twenty. The standard is 100. It is, uh, it is uh, under class 2, it is very safe. Okay. 